bustling and vibrant cityscape of New York, where towering skyscrapers seem to touch the clouds, and the energy is as palpable as the honking of yellow taxis. In this concrete jungle where dreams are said to be made, there's an underlying paradox that often goes unnoticed, a tale of wealth and poverty existing side by side. Some have used the food pantry for years, others are visiting for the first time. Stubbornly high food prices are still squeezing some families this holiday season. The first time ever, the total credit card debt across the U.S. has topped $1 trillion. We've been spending a lot. We still have persistent inflation. It may be slowing, but prices are still high. No, and I was going to just say, like, fruits and vegetables just seem to be sky high these days. Ever wondered how a city with such immense wealth can harbor the struggles of 2.7 million people living in poverty? It's like stepping onto a glittering stage only to discover that behind the curtain lies a reality of financial hardship for many New Yorkers. Now, before we dive into the complexities, let me pose a question. Ever felt the contradiction of standing in the heart of affluence, yet sensing an undercurrent of economic struggle? New York, with its dazzling lights and pulsating energy, presents a paradox, the coexistence of immense wealth and the harsh reality of financial disparities. It's a place where dreams are both made and sometimes shattered by the challenges of high living costs. Many New Yorkers are struggling to afford basic needs as they deal with the rising cost of housing. Imagine looking up at those skyscrapers and thinking, how is it that in a city so rich, so many are struggling to make ends meet? Our journey begins by unraveling this paradox exploring the cost of living in the Big Apple, and understanding the financial struggles that persist despite the city's opulence. We're about to embark on a financial expedition, peeling back the layers to expose the hidden dynamics of New York's economic landscape. Credit cards, those small plastic rectangles that can feel like both a magic wand and a ticking time bomb. You've probably heard it said that banking is kind of a scam, and if you've ever found yourself lost in the labyrinth of credit card debt, you might just resonate with that sentiment. Let's face it, the allure of credit is undeniable. It's like having a little piece of financial magic in your wallet. Swipe and voila. But, and it's a big but, there's a dark side to this financial sorcery. The hidden dangers of credit card debt can turn that magical experience into a financial nightmare. Picture this, you're out on the town, treating yourself to a well-deserved dinner or a shopping spree swiping that card with the carefree attitude of a magician pulling a rabbit out of a hat. However, as the statements roll in, the spell breaks, and you're left facing the harsh reality of mounting debt. It's a story told by many New Yorkers, trapped in the cycle of credit card debt, despite the city's glittering facade. Americans are falling deeper into credit card debt that they can't pay off. This comes as stubborn inflation forces consumers to turn to plastic to pay for some of their purchases. Americans now carry $986 billion in credit card debt, with the average APR at 21%. Many are finding it harder and harder to dig their way out of this debt. So, why are so many Americans so deep into credit card debt? People are leaning into credit cards much more than they were previously. There are a couple of different factors here. One big factor is obviously inflation. Things are just more expensive than they used to be. <laughs> Cost of goods is up across the board. And so we're seeing a lot of Americans lean more into credit cards in order to make ends meet. We'll delve into real life case studies, examining the impact of credit card debt on individuals and families. You're about to get a backstage pass to the financial show, the good, the bad, and the debt ridden. So subscribe to our channel and buckle up for a roller coaster ride through the complexities of credit as we unravel the allure, perils, and consequences of this seemingly innocuous piece of plastic. Now that we've uncovered the hidden dangers of credit card debt, let's journey deeper into the financial labyrinth where the Federal Reserve and interest rates cast their shadows. It might sound like a complex plotline, but fear not, we're here to demystify the economic factors that shape the financial destinies of New Yorkers. Imagine the Federal Reserve as the wizard behind the curtain, pulling levers and manipulating interest rates, influencing everything from the price of your morning coffee to the cost of your rent. If you are looking for an apartment in New York City, the average monthly rent has jumped to a record high of nearly $5,600. Let's break down this intricate dance of economic forces 
starting with the Federal Reserve's role. The Federal Reserve, often referred to as the Fed, isn't just an obscure institution with a fancy name. It's the Central Bank of the United States, and its actions ripple through the entire economic landscape. One of its primary tools is controlling interest rates. Here's a staggering fact. Every eight weeks, the Federal Open Market Committee meets to decide whether to raise, lower, or maintain interest rates. This decision has far-reaching consequences, affecting the borrowing costs for everyone from large corporations to the average Joe trying to secure a mortgage. Let's put this into perspective with a real-life case study. Meet Thelma Rose Anan, a 32-year-old female, renting in New York City and her rent just recently increased by 45% from $2,400 to $3,500 per month. Thelma's dream of home ownership becomes a bit more challenging. My mom called me the other day and she's like, you're 31, you should own property. And I literally said, with what money? Because it all goes to my rent. Higher interest rates mean higher mortgage rates, which can translate to increased monthly payments and potentially a more elusive American dream for Thelma. Now consider the opposite scenario. If the Fed lowers interest rates, borrowing becomes more affordable. Thelma might find herself with a more favorable mortgage rate making that dream home a bit more within reach. The decisions made in the hallowed halls of the Federal Reserve echo through the lives of everyday New Yorkers, shaping their financial landscapes. Let's delve into the real-world implications of these decisions. According to recent statistics, a mere 1% change in interest rates can result in substantial financial shifts for individuals and families. Picture this, a New Yorker with a $30,000 car loan might see their monthly payment fluctuate by around $15 with each percentage point change in interest rates. New data shows there's never been a worse time to buy instead of rent. That's because the monthly average new mortgage payment is 52% higher than the average rent payment. These seemingly small adjustments can accumulate into significant financial burdens or reliefs. It's not just about car loans, credit card interest rates, student loans, and mortgage rates all dance to the tune set by the Federal Reserve. The financial stability of countless individuals hangs in the balance. Now let's switch gears and explore the broader economic factors that contribute to the financial hardships faced by many New Yorkers. The economic landscape is a vast and interconnected web where changes in one corner send ripples throughout. New York, as a global financial hub, is particularly sensitive to economic shifts. Take inflation, for instance, the rise in the general price level of goods and services. While a moderate level of inflation is a sign of a healthy economy, too much can erode the purchasing power of the dollar. In recent months, the inflation rate in the United States has been hovering around 3.5%, a seemingly modest figure. However, when applied to the daily lives of New Yorkers, this statistic takes on a more concrete form. Rent prices, grocery bills, and utility costs are all influenced by inflation. And for those living paycheck to paycheck, even a slight increase can strain their financial stability. Consider the story of Casey Cleary, a hardworking New Yorker navigating the challenges of rising prices. When we got a new lease increase, we really wanted to talk to the landlord and discuss an option of, you know, can we negotiate a little bit or is there any wiggle room? And they just wrote back within 15 minutes saying no, that they already gave us a preferred rate of that $700 increase so they were not willing to budge on negotiations at all. We didn't think our apartment was worth 2700 It's small and it doesn't really have all the amenities, the fourth floor walk up. The 2700 is also our preferred rate where it's actually at 3100 As inflation nudges upward, Casey finds herself allocating more of her income to cover essential expenses, especially the increased rent, leaving less room for savings or unexpected costs. The economic forces shaping Casey's reality are not abstract concepts. They are tangible, affecting the choices she makes and the quality of life she can afford. In the grand tapestry of New York's economic landscape, individuals like Casey and Thelma are the threads, interwoven with the decisions made by the Federal Reserve and the broader economic factors at play. Now that we've traversed the complex terrain of credit card debt and economic forces, it's time to descend into the gritty reality of living costs in the city that never sleeps. New York's allure is undeniable, but for many, the struggle to make ends meet in this urban jungle is a daunting and relentless battle. Let's start by confronting a stark reality. 
New York consistently ranks as one of the most expensive cities to live in globally. The cost of living index paints a vivid picture. It's approximately 35% higher than the national average. What does this mean for the average New Yorker? Well, it means that every dollar stretches a bit less, every paycheck feels a bit smaller, and every rent check feels like a significant chunk of hard-earned money. Consider this, the median rent for a one-bedroom apartment in Manhattan hovers around $3,500 per month. That's more than double the national average. Now, let's add utilities, groceries, transportation, and other daily expenses to the mix, and you've got a recipe for financial strain. Meet Ernestine, a resilient New Yorker facing the harsh reality of a rent increase from $2,450 to $4,395. There is even an apartment where we had to put in a $1,000 deposit just for our application to be considered. Her story embodies the challenges many city dwellers encounter as the relentless surge in living costs adds an extra layer to the struggle for financial stability. It's not a unique story. Many New Yorkers face the challenge of balancing their aspirations with the financial realities imposed by the city's high cost of living. The high cost of living in New York has a direct impact on financial stability. According to recent studies, a significant percentage of New Yorkers find themselves living paycheck to paycheck, with little to no savings for emergencies or future endeavors. The struggle to build a financial safety net is not a testament to personal responsibility, but a reflection of the unforgiving financial landscape that many navigate daily. It's a reality that shapes decisions, influences aspirations, and underscores the need for a nuanced understanding of the challenges faced by those striving to make a living in the city that demands so much. The cycle of high living costs and financial instability is not insurmountable, but breaking free requires a strategic and informed approach. It's about understanding the unique financial challenges posed by the city and implementing practical strategies to navigate them. As we wade through the intricacies of living costs and financial stability, it's essential to recognize the resilience and resourcefulness of individuals like Ernestine and Gianna. New York City was empty at the time. People were away from the city. We actually got a great deal. I believe we got like a month or two off of the rent. So our rent was actually discounted. Their stories are not isolated incidents but reflections of the broader narrative woven into the fabric of New York City. A narrative that demands a closer examination of the structural challenges and the need for accessible pathways to financial empowerment. Now that we've traversed the intricate landscapes of credit, economic forces, and living costs, it's time to equip ourselves with practical strategies to navigate the financial concrete jungle of New York. These are not just abstract theories, but actionable steps that can lead to real change. One effective strategy to break free from the shackles of high living costs is to assess and trim unnecessary expenses. Consider revisiting subscription services, dining out habits, and impulse purchases. Small changes, like cooking at home more often or exploring cost-effective transportation options, can accumulate into significant savings. Remember, financial empowerment begins with a conscious effort to distinguish between needs and wants. Addressing credit card debt requires a strategic plan. Start by consolidating high interest debts and consider negotiating lower interest rates. Establish a budget to allocate specific amounts to debt repayment each month. Additionally, explore balance transfer options and focus on paying down the card with the highest interest rate first. Small consistent steps can pave the way to financial freedom. For a more secure future, it's essential to build a financial fortress. Establish an emergency fund to weather unexpected expenses. Invest in financial education to make informed decisions about investments and savings. Consider automating contributions to retirement accounts to ensure a consistent and growing financial nest egg. As we conclude our journey through the financial intricacies of New York, remember that change starts with awareness and action. The concrete jungle may be daunting, but armed with financial literacy and practical strategies, you have the power to navigate and conquer it. So, fellow urban adventurers, subscribe to our channel for more insights into navigating the financial complexities of life in the Big Apple. Hit that bell icon to stay updated on our latest videos, where we'll continue unraveling the mysteries of personal finance and empowering you to thrive in the city that never sleeps. Remember, the path to financial empowerment is a journey and you're not alone.
share your thoughts, experiences, and strategies in the comments below. Let's build a community that learns and grows together. Subscribe now and let the journey to financial empowerment begin.